What's up guys, Chasing Lamey here with episode number 60 of Welcome to Roxham. And in today's episode, we are facing the mighty Swindon Town. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, let's take a walk down memory lane, a path while trodden last year's hosts of the channel. Roll the intro, see what happens. So here we are then for game number 15 of the season against Swindon Town at Trafford Park. And uh, the season so far has been fairly mediocre. We are currently sitting in 13th place in the table. We have got 20 points on the board, as do Swindon. In fact, 14 games, 20 points on the board, all very even. Lots of things out of whack because of cup runs and whatnot, I suppose. But it'll all even out. Eventually, it'll all come out in the wash. But we're about a third of the way through the season, and uh, so far, so good. Mid-table in our first season of professional football. Some people, I think, were expecting us to go on another tear up through the league, but, yeah. you know, four years ago, we were in the Isthmian League Division 1. So let's not expect miracles from us just yet. Let's look at what you've missed since we last met, though, the important things, which was the Liverpool game we last saw. So, we then played Bristol Rovers and drew two all with goals from Jaden Williams and Trent Cohen Doherty. We then beat Tranmere 7-0 at home. Goals from Ben Dodd, a hat trick from Jaden Williams, a goal from Gareth Bale, a goal from Sean Maguire, and a goal from Oliver Scarls. We then got a one all draw at home to Mansfield with Gareth Bale on the score sheet before losing 3-1 to AFC Fylde with Jaden Williams scoring. And we beat Sutton 2-0 away with goals from Gareth Bale and from Jaden Williams to bring us all nicely and tidily up to date. So let's go and see what we can do against Swindon, where everything is set up for a good game today. So in terms of today's starting line, then we're starting with Randy Straker in goal, Ross Inglis at right back, Knight and Doyle at centre half, and Josiah Linton playing left back today. Javon Mitchell, the defensive midfielder behind Jacob Wright and Cooper Dunn. We then have Chimacy and Bale on the wings with Jaden Williams up top. On the bench, Lakyle Samuel, Bobby Burns, Harrison McMahon, Lucas Stevens, and Martin Carrizo, Tone, uh, Kane, Tone Doherty, and Hugh Gill make up the remainder of the bench. And I'm going to put my teeth in and get us ready to go. Right, let's submit that team and let's see what we can get out of this one. Hopefully a good win today because we do need to start building some momentum if we're going to have a good chance of at least safely securing mid-table. You had a big performance from Gareth Bale today. He does need to be on top form. Hopefully he will be. So in the dressing room, I wants us to say we're favourite for a reason. Go out there, make sure that I didn't know that as to why, and nobody cared, which is always a great sign. So we're going to tell everyone to make a difference and to make us proud, which hopefully will do what we need them to do. It's... Uh, it's a long shot, but we'll see what happens. Right, go to the match preview, and we're going to get the lovely TV graphics. I am going to recognise some Swindon players here, of course, being a Swindon fan in real life. So we'll talk you through the ones I do recognise from the Swindon Town team sheet. Chris Coleman, the manager, of course, of Swindon Town at the moment. Uh, not in real life, just in-game. Louis Thompson playing for them in midfield. Doesn't play for us in real life right now. Used to play for us back in the day. Excellent central midfielder. And they've also got Jacob Wakeling up top who is a contender this year in real life for the League 2 or the EFL Young Player of the Season. I have no idea how, because he's utter rubbish. But there we go. That's uh, that's how it be sometimes. Anyway, we've kicked off. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a good win today. So, first time out of the game, then Rooney for Swindon with a throw-in. To Bapaga, headed away by Gareth Bale. To Ola Sunday who's going to have a run at us down at the near side, attempt for a tackle, don't know what happened there, that was a mess defending, and Jacob Wakeling scored what apparently is his 11th goal of the season, but I have a lot of questions about this defending we just witnessed, I'll be honest, on a Sunday picks up the ball there, goes down the line, three defenders go to him and no one gets near the ball, including the guy trying to make the tackle, Dodd stands on the ball rather than letting it go out, Straker doesn't see the danger and pick the ball up, and Wakeling gets a chance to dive in and tap it away. Utterly ridiculous defending. Also, as a sign of just how uh, how small a club we are for this level, what 1,095 people here for a League 2 game as Bilson takes the goal kick for Swindon, looking for Cissé, right-headed down to Inglis. Can we get ourselves 
back on terms here. Chimese on the ball, over the top, looking for Jaden Williams. He's through one-on-one with the goalkeeper. Jaden Williams won't miss from there. He's got his 11th goal of the season. And as long as the offside flag has stayed down, that is magic for us. We have managed to hold on to that goal. Good stuff here. Good ball from Inglis. Chimese sees the run from Jaden Williams early, puts it into his path. And Williams, one touch, flicks it past the keeper just inside the post, makes it one all, And that's why Jaden Williams is and will forever be a club legend at Robson. So half time about to come there. A bit of a mixed bag in terms of performance so far. Half our team very much carrying the other half of the team, really, to make this performance work for us. We're going to go into the dressing room. We're going to try and get them to buck their ideas up a little bit because we've not been great. It's got to be honest. We can still win this, keep working hard, and it will come. Again, nothing really happening. So let's, uh, in fact, let's do some individual shouting first. Because a few players here who just haven't really been at the races. We're going to leave uh, Javon Mitchell out of this because we're just going to yell at him not to get himself booked. We'll do a point of the finger, and um, I'm going to do a... You weren't that bad, you can still improve. I have faith in you. We will go to Javon Mitchell and we'll very simply just say to him, calm down, avoid being sent off. Hopefully he'll actually pay attention to that instruction. That'd be nice. And we'll just go with the pumpy, pumpy fists. Make a real difference for us when we've got there. Do it. Get it done. Is what we're going to say to the rest of the team. Needs to change the game for us. Glad that you've got the ability to do it. Excellent stuff. And we'll do an outstretched arm so you made a difference in attack for Jaden Williams because he did. Being that he scored our only goal, he did by definition make a difference. Right, second half is kicking off. Let's see if we can get ourselves ahead now. Chumese with the ball through to Williams now from the uh, very early highlight. Williams back to Chumese, back to Inglis to right, right with a pop from range. It just goes against the crossbar, bounces off and is cleared. And we have had at least a chance of scoring a goal early on in the second half. We've come out with a bit of fight in us. Let's see if that continues. Free kick now, and it's with Inglis for Roxham. Can we get this ball into a box? We're not going to go straight into a box. Chimese picks up the ball and takes way too much time on it, if we're honest. Knight back to Chimese. Looks for a short pass to right. Over the top, looking for Cooper Dunn, who's in the box. And first touch puts it just wide with the volley. Ah, so it's a volley. It was just a one-touch shot. It didn't do anything of note, which seems to be Jamie Cooper Dunn's day in a nutshell. Right on the ball now for us, and it's Carrizzo. We've made some changes. Carrizzo, one of them coming on, also brought on Burns at left back. He picks up the ball now. McMahon on as defensive midfielder. We've moved Gareth Bale to central midfield, and Cohn Doherty comes on the left hand side as Wakeling gets through for a 12th goal of the season and a second goal of the game. And I mean, nothing. This is 50th league goal for Swindon. In real life, for him to score 50 league goals for Swindon, He'd have to play 5 million games. That was an utterly, utterly useless ball for a McMahon. And frankly, I'm almost tempted to take him straight off for that. That was utterly atrocious. There is no excuse for that. And we need to buck our ideas up and start doing a little bit better off, off the back of that. Throw in now with Gareth Bale. Can we do something from this long throw? Looking for Dodd. Doesn't find the Lindo heads it away. Proctor, though, can't get it under control. Burns on the ball now. Gives it away to Proctor. We are utterly failing. McMahon, back to Carrizzo, to Dodd, back to Knight. Knight finds Carrizzo. Now Carrizzo to right, right, out wide for Chimese, who needs to really show what he can do as a creative player now on the wing. Gets to the byline, steps on the ball, cuts it back, looking for right, gives it away. Chimese wins it back, though, cuts inside and pings it straight into the crowd. Utter. Utter uselessness from Shimesi, but we are taking off Gareth Bale now. I'm done waiting for him to perform in this game. We're going to send in Lucas Stevenson and hope for the best. Free kick now with Lindo for Swindon. Ball goes over the top looking for Proctor. Hopefully Straker will get there. Why is he trying to use his feet? Just pick the ball up. You've not been good all day. Don't start trying to play football. Alessandre heads it to Rooney, to Gilligan. Picked up by Carrizzo. McMahon over the top looking for Williams. Jaden Williams through. Can he equalise again? Jaden Williams off the post. And it's cleared by Ola Sunday. Still in play though. Right to Chimese who has a pop and puts it deep, deep into the stand behind the goal. And it's not looking like this is going to be our day today. So four minutes of injury time to play. And I don't think we're going to get an equaliser. If I'm honest, it doesn't really look like it's going that way. We have been the better team on average. 
with far more players putting a shift in, but sadly it's the ones that haven't have let us down. If Randy Straker had a better performance today, maybe, maybe we could have picked up something from this game, but that is full time. And uh, I have been thinking over the last few years, maybe Randy Straker is not as good a goalkeeper as I thought he was. Maybe he's not good enough to be playing in uh, League 2. Maybe he just needs more time to develop. I need to get a, an experienced goalkeeper in the meantime to make that happen. I don't know. Either way, we've, uh, we've told them we're proud of their efforts, which is fair. I and mean, we, we shouldn't be expected to be an established League 2 team like Swindon anyway at this stage but i did expect more and i expect more from gareth bale he has not been very great this season he should be tearing this league apart and he just doesn't seem interested which is really really frustrating anyway i'm going to wrap up the episode here we're actually going to come back in pretty short order because i decided we're going to come back for the first round of the fa cup on friday and that's the next game up against yeovil who of course in real life just got relegated from the conference south which is quite terrifying. Uh, in this in this universe, they are 16th in the regular National League, being managed by ex window manager Luke Williams. God help them. Uh, and they've got Cesar Marquez on loan from us, but of course he won't be playing in the FA Cup. So we're going to come back for that one in the next episode. That's our plan. Anyway, guys, in the meantime, I have been Chasing Lamy. Thank you much for watching. I shall see you all very soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, share it with your friends, leave some comments, all that good stuff. It all helps me, the channel, and possibly you in some small karmic way out. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Until next time, stay safe and uh, have a good one.